So here it is, Friday night, family night, homemade pizza with um, half whole wheat flour, half white flour crust. It came out really good. It's again the uh, Pioneer Woman's Pizza. I love her pizza recipes. So whoever shared that with me, thank you. And then uh, just some carrots on the side. Pretty simple and a little bit of soda because you got to have soda with your pizza. So Friday night, family night. Here we go. Link is down below for this pizza crust recipe. This was for dinner on Sunday night. It is leftovers. Last night we went out, Grandpa surprised us and took us to sweet tomatoes. So tonight we have leftover chili that was supposed to be last night's dinner, but it's on Sunday night's dinner. So, uh, and then cornbread just heated up, warmed up on the stove and with shredded cheddar cheese and Tillamook shredded cheddar cheese, because we love Tillamook. <laughs> And um, a little bit of red onion. <coughs> Mr. Man is cooking dinner tonight. Beautiful. Isn't that a beautiful chicken? That's what I'm talking about. Full chicken with a lemon. Put a lemon and garlic in there. Mmm. See? Yum on the inside. Yum. Wow. Little Martha. You know, this was my recipe and my idea. Yeah, but who cooked it? Yeah, I know. Yeah. I got the night right. off. Right. Who cooked it? You could it? do this more often. So this is what's for dinner. It's a uh, baked chicken with thyme mm. and... It's, Potatoes. It's, it's thyme. Thyme? It's thyme. We're cooking with thyme and then some <laughs> garlic bread. Delicious. So the link will be down below for the chicken, how he assembled this. Here's what's for dinner on Tuesday night. Yes, Tuesday. It's chili again in the crock pot. And the link to the chili recipe is always down below in these um, meal vlogs because we cook it a lot, <laughs> especially in the fall and winter months. And then panini sandwiches. And it's panini just grilled cheese. panini grilled cheese on our George Foreman grill. And it's just sourdough. Just a French loaf. bread, and it's healthier because French there's no butter. Bread. No butter. No butter. Thin, thin cheese, just enough cheese to cover it. And it's really good. So break out your Foreman's, guys, and try this. It's yummy. So this is what's for dinner on Tuesday. So this is what we're cooking tonight. Chicken and asparagus penne. Does that look yummy? I've got my chicken going over here. Chicken breast cubed and sauteing and then I got my asparagus rinsed and snapped um, over here I'm ready to dice that my water is boiling I'm gonna put my pasta in my water and then put my steamer basket on top to steam the asparagus the same time the pasta is cooking then when everything's done cooking then we're gonna put it all into a 9 by 13 pan mix it with some um, cheese Parmesan cheese and then bake it for a little bit broil it broil it yeah. Okay, so here it is, the chicken and rotini penne cheese dish. I think I used too much chicken because I used what I had left in my freezer. I should have broke it into two smaller like 8 by 8 pans um, and then added the parm because it didn't come out all bubbly like the picture. But if you made smaller batches it would have and, you, and I think you could freeze it and then have it as a something you pop in the oven on a busy night. So here it is with uh, buttered bread. Here is what is for dinner on Thursday night. It's leftovers just heated up in the microwave. It's our pasta and chicken and asparagus bake from last night. So that's Thursday night. Hope you guys had a good week.